Have you ever heard of data encryption, end-to-end -end encryption or something similar but you don't know what the heck is that? If yes, then you should watch this video till the end and you will be filled with some god level knowledge after this video. So basically encryption is the process of converting any original data into unreadable file. For example, I want to encrypt this text that you can see on your screen. So with the help of write software or built-in encryption tool, I can encrypt with that tool or app and it will convert this text into some weird looking text such as this. The text that you can see is not encrypted and it is called as plain text and when it gets encrypted it is known as cipher text and encrypted files can be unlocked with a decryption key only. For Android, it is lock screen password. Hey, come look at this. <laughs> Decryption is just the opposite of encryption. Instead of changing files or text into cipher form, decryption reverts the encrypted files or text back to its normal or original form. When an authorized user needs to read the data, they may decrypt the data using a binary key, also known as decryption key. This will convert cipher text back to plain text so that the authorized user can access the original information. Now here comes the quite complicated part. In Android, there are two types of encryption. First one is full disk encryption and second one is file based encryption. Full disk encryption is pretty easy to understand. Full disk encryption does the same as the name given to it. It basically encrypts everything on the disk but it won't encrypt boot partition. But some hardware based full disk encryption can encrypt everything including boot partition. With this type of encryption, your device won't work after rebooting unless you unlock it with the pin or password that you have set for lock screen. You will see something like this on your device. For security, it is great but at the cost of user convenience and every data on device is locked with a single key. Whereas file based encryption allows different files to be encrypted with different keys that can be unlocked independently. For this to work, Android system provides two types of storage location for storing encrypted data. And these two are device encrypted storage and credential encrypted storage. Device encrypted storage is available after booting and after unlocking and it contains some of the essential services and apps. Before unlocking a device after a reboot, users can still access certain features of the Android such as dialer, alarms can work, users can use flashlight and such features can be used without unlocking device which was not available in full disk encryption. Thanks to direct boot which was not possible in FDE and every highly sensitive data is kept under credential encrypted storage which will decrypt only after entering the lock screen password. By the way, it is necessary to use a lock screen password on an encrypted device, otherwise encryption will be good as dead. You might ask why my device gets encrypted every time without my consent. So encryption for Android devices was introduced with Android version 4.4 when Android was in Stone Age. So for older models, encryption has to be done manually because encryption process for older devices would reduce device performance. But with newer Android devices, every device began to be encrypted out of the box. Android devices running Android version 6 or above should get encrypted automatically after setting up a lock screen password or it will stay encrypted without even setting up a lock screen password. For encrypting a device manually, all you have to do is go to settings, security, then encryption and credential and then encrypt phone. If your device is not encrypted, it will show phone not encrypted. Just tap on it and from there you can start encryption process. And make sure to note these things before encrypting. You can pause and read. And very important note, if your device shuts down while encryption process, then don't panic. All you have to do is format data and do the encryption process again. And if anything goes wrong, be ready to flash talk room via fast food. Encryption can hide very sensitive data and protect the encrypted data from hackers such as payment information, login details and other private details that you don't want to share with anyone. Similarly, in your Android device, you might keep many sensitive things and you don't want to share it with anyone, especially hackers. So for user safety, Android devices nowadays gets encrypted automatically out of the box even if you don't set up any lock screen password. 
there comes the most used term in android modding community and it is dfe disable forced encryption also known as dfe is a flashable file which can be flashed via any custom recovery and it disables automatic encryption automatic encryption or forced encryption is very annoying for those who flash custom rooms and to get rid of encryption there is only one way which is formatting data which means every data on your internal storage will be new so to prevent that all you have to do is flash dfe after formatting data formatting data is required for the first time only and then you have to flash dfe every time after flashing rom and gapps disable forced encryption can be renamed to something else but the steps is usually the same subscribing to my channel isn't automatic or forced you have to manually tap that subscribe button so that i can reach 2000 subscribers and i'm very close to it there are some notes about encryption types by the way you can watch video on fcrypt which is forced encryption disabler or you can watch miui 13 review and that's it for this video don't forget to like share and subscribe